In previous videos we talked about how Kartli was founded and in this video we will talk about how Kartli was united under one crowned king. So let's start. In 3rd century BC, Alexander the Great conquered the Achaemenid Persian Empire and his general marched in Kartli. His name was Azo. He conquered Kartli and conquered the city of Mtsheta and killed his leader Samara and his brother. Samara's brother was father of Farnavas. Farnavas and his mother escaped and they lived in the mountain of Caucasus. When Farnavas grew up, they returned to Mtsheta. Azo was interested in this boy and they were very, very close because Azo saw that Farnavas was a great warrior and hunter. Farnavas' mother was very afraid because of this, because Azo made many different laws in Kartli. Everyone who had some sort of weapon would be killed. Also, Georgians before Azo was worshipping sun, sky and five stars. However, Azo said that people of Kartli should worship two gods. Gats and Gaim. Azo created the status of these gods on top of a mountain of Kartli. Azo became tyrant of Kartli. Because of this, Farnavas' mother told him to flee to Persia. Farnavas really wanted to stay in Kartli, but he agreed to his mom and decided to leave Kartli. But before leaving Kartli, Farnavas had a dream. He thought that his dream was some kind of hint. Next day, Farnavas went to hunting. He saw a deer and started following it. And then huge rain started to end. He decided to find shelter in the forest. He found a cave with a strange door. He used his weapon and destroyed the door. He found treasure in this cave and he, his sister and mother brought it out from cave. Farnavas used this money to contact leader of a greasy called Kuji. Farnavas and Kuji used this money and treasure to create huge army to defeat Azo. These two young men gathered army and defeated Azo. After this victory, Kartli was set free from tyranny of Azo. After this war, Kuji could have said that Agrisi was his and Kartli was Farnavas. But Kuji led Farnavas to be king of all Georgian tribes and kingdom of Kartli was founded and united under one crowd king. Farnavas made many new reforms. He separated Kartli with regions. This is how you get modern Georgian regions, such as Guria, Abkhazia, and etc. Also, he laid the foundation to Georgian alphabet and made Georgian language official. Farnavas' sister married to Kuji, and these two dynasties finally united. He was also created statue of mythological god Armaz, who stood on top of Gats and Gaim. Six centuries later, Saint Nino would come to Georgia from Cappadocia and spread Christianity in whole Kartli. But that's a different story. Farnavas, who was descendant of Kartlos, created and laid the foundation to countries that stand firmly to this day. In Georgian understanding, Kartlos is biblical Abraham because he played the same role as Abraham from Bible. Farnavas is King David, and Saint Nino is Jesus who spread Christianity. This story I think is fascinating. If you want to see many more interesting stories like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.